Hello, Namaskar and welcome. Simulation and new case. Let's first read the problem. A company manufactures 30 units per day. The sale of these items depends upon demand which has the following distribution. This is the demand distribution or rather probability distribution of sales or daily demand. The demand ranges from 27 units to 32 days per day and these are the respective probabilities. Okay. The production cost and sales price of each unit are rupees 40 and rupees 50 respectively. That means selling price minus cost rupees 10 is the profit per unit sold. Any unsold unit is to be disposed of at a loss of rupees 15 per unit. If any unit remains unsold, it must be sold at a loss of rupees 15 either as a scrap or anything. There is a penalty of rupees 5 per unit if the demand is not met. When can be there such kind of situation? If the production is less than the demand, then there will be unsatisfied demand and there is a penalty of rupees 5 per unit of unsatisfied demand. Similarly, when the production is greater than demand, there may be unsold units that can be disposed of at a loss of rupees 15 per unit. It is not 10, it was a wrong amount. Yes, 15. Using the following random numbers, estimate the total profit or loss for the company for the next 10 days. If the company decides to produce 29 units per day, what is the advantage or disadvantage of the company? Yes, first of all, let's write day and random number. First day, 10 is the random number, second day it is 99, for third day it is 65, for fourth day it is again 99, for fifth day it is given to be 95, for sixth day it is given to be 1, for seventh day it is given to be 79, for eighth day 11, for ninth day 16 and for tenth day it is 20. Okay, let's solve the problem. Yes, first of all, we didn't, we don't consider to say need to consider the production. First of all, let's decide about or determine the random number intervals or range. For that purpose, we need cumulative probability. 0.1 plus 0.15 that is 0.25 plus 0.30 means 0.45 plus 0.35 means 0.80 plus 0.25. No, this is not 0.20, this is 0.15, so it is 0.95 and 1, okay? Now, cumulative, so let's consider these as percentages, this is 10%, so first will be 0, 0, 2, 10 minus 1, 9, 10 will be the starting point of second range, 25 minus 1, 24, 25 is the lower limit of third range, 45 minus 1, 44 is upper limit, 45 to 80 minus 179, 80 to 95 minus 194 and 95 to 99. Since all the random numbers are in one or two digits, this is sufficient. Okay, now let's first of all take day 1. On day 1, random number comes to 10. So the cells, rather 10 falls within this range, 10 to 24. So we can say that on that day demand, actually this should be called demand, 28. Now there are two situations, if the company produces 30 units per day or if the company produces 29 units per day. What will be the sales? Sales is always Demand or supply whichever is lower. Supply means production here. Demand or supply whichever is lower. So even if the company produces 30 units, only 28 can be sold because demand is of 28. So sold will be 28. That means out of production of 30, 2 remains unsold. Okay, let's calculate profit. Profit can be earned on sold quantity only. So 28 multiplied by 10 will be the profit from sales minus loss on unsold units that is 2 rupees per unit so 
So it is 280 minus 30, 250. Similarly, if company produces 29 units and demand is 28, whichever is lower, 28 can be sold, but unsold will be only 1, 29 minus 28. So the profit will be 28 into 10 minus 1 into 15. So profit will be 260. Five in case of production of 29 units per day. Now let's take second day. Random number is 99. Which falls between 95 and 99? So the demand will be 32. But on the other day, production is 30. Whichever is lower, so sold units will be 30. There cannot be unsold units. But there is a shortfall of supply by 2 units. Or there is unsatisfied demand of 2 units. So unsatisfied demand and there is a penalty of rupees 5 per unit for unsatisfied demand. So profit on 30 units will be 30 into 10 minus penalty on 2 unsold uh, so penalty on unsatisfied demand 2 into 5 10. So it will be 300 minus 10 290. In this case 29 units are produced but demand is 32 so we can sell 29 units. And there will be unsatisfied demand of 3 units. So profit on 29, sales of 29 will be 29 into 10. Minus penalty on unsold units 3 into 5, 15. 290 minus 15, it comes to 275. Let's take third. A random number is 65. It falls between 45 and 79. So there will be a demand of 30 units. If we produce 30 units, sales will also be 30 units. There will be no unsatisfied demand or unsold units. Yes, nothing. So the profit will be clearly on sales of 30 units, that will be 300. But if supply or production is 29, then we can sell only 29 units. We can never make sales greater than supply or demand. That's why there is a rule. Yes, thumb rule. Supply or demand, whichever is lower will be the sales. 29. But now what happens? Demand is 30. Production is 29. So we can sell 29 units and demand of one unit remains unsatisfied. So there will be profit like 29 into 10, 290 minus 1 into 5. 5, so 285. Please try to understand this thing. Yes, that's why at the cost of repetition, I am telling everything, I am speaking everything every time. Let's take fourth day, 99, again 32. In case of 32, the situation is actually known. Yes, 30. See, this is the repetition of the situation on second day. So, two unsold and in the same way the profit will be. 290 similarly here also 29 dash 3 and profit will be 275 yes refer to the second day to understand the fourth day yes fifth 95 again the same situation demand of 32 production or supply of 30 the same thing happens 290 profit yeah Okay, here also 275 profit. It is nothing but the repetition of second day. This is 290 or 290. Yeah, let's take sixth day. Random number is 1. So first, 27. Demand is 27, supply is 30. So sales will be 27, unsold units will be 3. Yes. So profit will be earned on 27 units at the rate of 10, 270 minus loss on unsold units 15, 3 into 15, 270 minus 45. So it will be 225. Now here also the sales will be 27 but unsold units will be only 2. 270 will be profit on sales of 270 units minus loss on unsold units will be 30,
Seventh day, 79 is the random number which falls in the range 45-79. So it is 30. That means this is the repetition of the situation on third day. Yes, sales 30, no unsold, no demand, unsatisfied demand. So profit is 300. Here also, it is repetition of the situation on third day. So it will be 285. On 8th day, random number is 11 which falls in the range 10 to 24. So the demand will be 28. That means this is repetition of first day. 28 sold, 2 unsold and same way 250 profit. Please refer to first day. Here also 28, 1 unsold. And the same way, 265 will be the profit. Ninth, 16 is the range, or rather random number. Same range, 10 to 24. Again, the demand comes to 28. Same situation as it was on 8th day or in, on 1st day. So, 28, 2 dash, same way, 250. 28, 1 dash, same way, 265. And 10th day, it is 20. Third time consecutively, the demand comes to 28, the same situation. Make the total of all these 10 profits because there is no loss. It comes to 2695. Please get total in your own way so that you can verify 2695 here also. Yes, I have already calculated the total profit, that's why I am writing directly. See what happens. The profit, rather the total profit for 10, 10 days considered for simulation remains the same. In both the cases, whether the company prefers to produce 30 units per day or 29 units per day. Yes? So, this part remains same in all the cases, but this part is actually so different in all the cases. I hope again, this rather the discussion or explanation of this case proved to be very useful to you. To understand the solution of this sum, not only that, to understand the concept of numericals of simulation. Don't forget to like, please also suggest my, this lecture, all other lectures, even my channel, rather YouTube channel to your friends, to your juniors, to your seniors and all others who are interested in learning simulation or all other topics of statistics, operations, research management, accounting, etc. My YouTube channel is P-R-A-S-H-A-N-T-U-R-R. That's it. Thank you very much.